Hi, I'm Alice Moran. I'm a periodontist practicing in San Clemente, California. Um, I've had problems with carpal tunnel probably for the last 30 years. I'm a dentist and um, I started feeling it back, I would say, in my 20s. I'm 58. But it was pretty much off and on then, um, I think hormonally related. I had two babies and I know hormones can affect carpal tunnel. I noticed it during pregnancy. Um, it started getting where it was an issue about 10 years ago. I retired from the military, went into private practice, and it started becoming a real issue. So I slept with splints at night. I kind of held it at bay for a while until about <clears throat> a year or two ago where it got so bad I thought I really needed to do something about it. I scheduled surgery, canceled the surgery, um, went on for a while. It seemed to get better, get worse, and then after a while when it got worse again, I went ahead and scheduled surgery again, and right before doing the surgery, um, was get, having doubts, and went ahead and um, went online and found out about the um, carpal solution. And I thought, um, hey, it's at least worth a try. It's not that much money. And um, I have to say I'm really happy I did it. I'm getting more relief than I've had doing anything and it allows me to go to work and be comfortable and do everything I need to do and I didn't have to worry about the downtime after the surgery or possible complications from the surgery. The first surgery that I had scheduled I found the doctor online and he was specifically a hand surgeon who um, specialized in doing the procedure microscopically and I went to him for a consultation. I didn't feel that comfortable because I didn't really know him. So I then talked to my husband's orthopedic surgeon who had done his knees and he was telling me that, oh, there really isn't much difference with carpal tunnel, whether you do it orthoscopically or whether you do the open procedure, that you're still going to have a minimum of a two-week recovery. And then I started going online and talking to other people and the two-week recovery turned into maybe a four or a six-week recovery which is very difficult for me in my profession. I can't really afford to do that. Plus the other issue is unlike a lot of other surgeries, it's not necessarily just skill dependent. There are a lot of factors involved about whether the surgery is really going to help or not. I mean, I'm all for surgery. I'm a surgeon. But this type of surgery is not that predictable. And then the other issue is, is that it can come back. So I did schedule that second surgery because I was feeling kind of desperate. And again, when I happened to find this product online, figured that I had absolutely nothing to lose but try it. And I'm really happy that I did. I went by the company's directions on how to use the product. So it was every night for two weeks and then every other night for four weeks. And it took a few weeks before I really started feeling something. And, and it's just kind of an insurance policy for me. As a surgeon, I'm all for surgery. And um, I think as you get more experienced as a surgeon, what you learn is you always want to try to solve things non-surgically. And I do that myself in my practice. You always want to do the least invasive means to solve a problem. And you don't want to neglect problems, but you're always going to start out there. And I think this is the perfect solution because very often it can solve the problem. Now it doesn't for everybody and you could always explore surgery if you get to that point, but you always want to use the least invasive option first. Well, as a surgeon or um, if you're a lay person, whatever you do, particularly if you work with your hands, I can tell you if you have problems with carpal tunnel, I really would recommend the carpal solution. You know, you really have nothing to lose, everything in the world to gain. It's definitely a first-line defense. You can always resort to surgery if you feel like that's what you have to do, and hopefully you won't have to. I always thought, or I've thought the last five years or so, that I was going to have to stop um, working because of the carpal tunnel. And I now feel, because of the um, carpal solutions, that if I get a recurrence or if I get a, a period of time where I'm under a lot more stress, that I can always just rely on the product and it'll allow me to keep working, which is a huge relief for me.